Hey everybody, it is TJ here, uh, the El Topo, and uh, just wanted to see how you guys were doing. Hope you guys had a good weekend. Hope you had those guys had a good. <laughs> that was almost a first. I hope you guys had a good Easter. Apparently today is Easter, so uh, go Jesus. Way to go. Way to um, what's this one for? Uh, resurrect yourself. Good job. Um, so in the spirit of uh, resurrections, um, wanted to tell you guys a little story about. Um, Friday night, I uh, went to a strip club, so my penis kind of had a resurrection. Huh? That was terrible. <laughs> Sorry, everything's a lot funnier 20 beers in. But anyway, went to a strip club. Uh, I don't know if I want to give the name, but it rhymes with boars, and it's in, uh, it's in South Baltimore. It's right off of 83. It's a wonderful strip club. First time I've actually been there. And, um, you know, it was it was pretty crazy. You know, your standard strip club, I'm sure most of you are aware, you go in, you you look at boobs and vagina, they get thrown in your face for a nominal fee and everything's great, you know. So uh anyway, we roll into this but it's a couple me and a couple of my friends. Uh roll in, you know, sit down, the whole deal. And uh so this uh the girls, you know, as they do, they come over, they saunter over to your table and they act they act like they're interested in you and you know, they tell you a lot of other things and you know, all in an effort to make, you know, pull that money out of your pocket, whether it be a table dance or a lap dance or going to a private champagne room and, I don't know, getting fingered or something, who knows. But anyway, a friend of mine was looking for, to get a dance, and uh, I was telling him that you shouldn't go after the hottest chick in the strip club. This is a, a rookie mistake. In fact, what you should do is you should go for the chick that's probably the least attractive, or at least you know, in the room the least attractive, because they're strippers, they're going to be attractive. They may not be as attractive as the other strippers, but they're still going to be pretty hot. They're going to be hotter than your regular girl, usually. So, uh, being one that always tries to follow by example, uh, one of these girls came over. I mean, she wasn't bad looking. She was, she was a little busted. Um, you know, I'd probably say like a hard six. You know, a girl that you'd see on the street and be like, hmm, uh, you know, not bad, nothing great. But, uh, so she sits next to me and she says she likes my tattoos and my hair. And, you know, that's enough for me, I guess. She's like, well, you know, let's, let's get a dance. Let's, let's get a dance going. And, um, sure, I had some money in my pocket. Sure, let's, let's get a dance. Well, <laughs> the, 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 you know, my logic rang true because five minutes in, this was the most out of control lap dance I've ever had. I mean, Things were getting thrown in places. I didn't know, uh, I didn't, you know, you never know the rules of a strip club. You don't want to, like, break their code of conduct and get, you know, kicked out of the club or beaten up by a bouncer. And, I mean, this, but this girl was just, like, I mean, her boobs were just everywhere, like, in my mouth and, like, in my face. It was just like, what, what's going on here? And then she's, like, grabbing my junk, like, outside of the pants, obviously. And then, like, biting it. It was just, like, insane. And I'm, like, a little buzz, so this is, this is pretty good, you know? This is, this is, a, this is a pretty freaking ridiculous lap dance. Um, and, of course, one lap dance at that point turned into four. So, I mean, she got her money, uh, you know, and I, uh, didn't have any money after that. But, um, you know, it worked out, I guess, to my advantage, you know. It's just kind of funny, like, uh, so, so to all you guys out there, when you go to a strip club, you do not want to get the hottest chick, because it's just like having sex with most super hot chicks in real life. Um, when you bang, like, a ridiculously hot chick, a lot of them just, it's just the privilege of you to be with them, you know what I mean? Like, they have... They're so great. Then strippers are no different. You know, they know they're freaking ridiculously hot, so they're not really going to work at that lap dance. They're not going to grab your junk and <laughs> say all kinds of really wacky crap in your ear. And I don't know. I think <laughs> I think if I had more money, this chick would have bagged me in the parking lot. It was it was really weird. But my point is, is that you really need to go for the lower echelon girl. So uh, that is my message to you guys and ladies. Hey, I'm sure the, I'm sure the axiom rings true for the ladies. Um, but uh, this video is probably going a little too long, like they always do. I can I need to put like a timer on this thing. So uh, everybody have a uh, good weekend. I'll see you guys in the morning. Drink up, go Jesus. Way to fucking be Jesus. See you guys. Love you all.